In our today's tutorial, I will show you how to use a share file to locate your study area on the USGS platform since the administrative boundary have been removed. Uploading your own study area is the easiest way to extract Landsat A data for your specific region of interest. So to do that, I will first of all extract my study area of interest from this large share file. So I will right click on the I will right click on the share file and come down to select then come to create from the selection okay so I will right click on it and change the name So I will uncheck the previous layer, then zoom, zoom my study area, I will zoom it, uh, I will zoom out my study area, zoom in sorry, okay. So after doing that, I will go to catalog to create A new shape file okay so I right click on my folder and create a new shape file okay my name I will give it I will name after my study area then the feature type I will make it to be polygon. I will also divide my coordinate system. The coordinate system is I'm not familiar with the with the coordinate system of this very area, so I will use geographic coordinate system WGS 1984. Okay. So after doing that, I will start my editor. Okay. So I will create a polygon around my study area. Anytime you want to, you want to digitize this, you have to make sure that the point is not above 30. Because if the point is above 30, the USGS may not accept your shape file. So you must try to make your point to fall below 30. Okay. So I will try as much as possible to make sure that my point is not above 30 so after digitizing I will save my edit and stop editing okay
so after doing that i will right click on my new layer i will right click on my new layer and export data so i will come down to data and export it okay So I will select a folder where I want to save my work. So I will connect to folder that I want to save my work. So I'm searching for the folder. I want to save my work okay after doing that I will click on okay I will give it a name okay study area then click on save you i will make sure that the save type is in share file i will click on save and okay okay so after doing that i will launch to the usgs 8 explorer so i'm using Chrome to log into the uh, to launch into the USGS Explorer. So you are your type 8 Explorer. Okay. And click on enter. So before you download any image from the USGS Explorer or any data, you have to make sure that you have an account with them. So uh, I already have an account create an account with them okay so here is the usgs 8 explorer interface you will notice that the administrative boundary is no longer here so for you to locate your study area of interest it is important for you to use your shape file the shape file of your study area to locate your area of interest so to do that i will come over to you can see where they write geo coding then joson kml and shape file so i will click on upload shape file upload then come over here to change it to shape file okay then i will select the file so this very file i want to select a, a file a file format that is not zip so that you can see what will be the response in case you have encountered this kind of challenge okay if you if you upload any share file that is not zip this will be the response your share file must be compressed into a single file using a zip archive file format and must contain a shape file format okay that's a uh, shp and is hx and plg which is projection so for me to do that i will come over to my shape file the folder of my shape file i will right click on it and come down to add to archives okay so here you see different file format so i will check in zip okay i will check in zip then i will click on okay because the usgs 8 explorer only accept shape file that is in zip format okay without that you can upload any shape file 
and it, they will not accept any share file okay if it is not zip so you can see in my zip share file okay so uh, now i will come over to usgs 8 explorer to upload my share file the zipped one to see what will be their response whether they will accept the zip format okay okay so i'm trying to navigate to where i have my zip file okay here is my zip file so i will click on it and click on open okay you can see that it is loading okay okay you can see that my zip file usgs has accept my zip file so if your file is not in zip file share file is not in zip file the usgs will not accept it okay At, and your point must be minimum of 30 okay so i will come over here then i can choose to reduce my cloud cover and then choose the the date range the date range of my data okay after doing that i will click on data set so in this very video i want to download for landsat 8 so i will come over to down landsat then i will click on landsat then come to landsat collection 2 then i will check landsat 8 to 9 after doing that i will click on additional criteria in order to do some other settings okay so i want to download for only landsat is so i will come down to satellite i will click this plus icon then click on this drop down arrow and select it after doing that i will click on result it will load okay You can see different footprint this other footprint has not covered my area of interest so i will select i will carefully go through the footprint okay you can see that the two footprints has covered my area of interest so i can choose to download these two footprints okay so i will come over to download for the full face footprint okay product option i will click on it i will click on product option okay so you can choose to download for each ties as in each bands okay and you can also choose to download or if you want to download all you can see that it is almost 983 point one three megabyte so i can choose to download in bulk or i download or i choose to download band by bands okay so let's check for the next footprint okay i will come over to the next footprint if i want to download for the next footprint because it is only the two footprint that print that covers my area so i will come over to download i will click on download then come over to product then click on it it will take me to here again so you can see that if i want to download in bulk the total megabyte is 884 okay so i can choose to download in bulk or band by band so guys that is how to download satellite image using your study area okay thank you very much for watching